<laughs> so how's everybody doing? Did everybody have a good Valentine's Day? Did anybody listen to our Monday morning medication? <laughs> we were talking about fuck Valentine's Day and all that. How'd you guys do? Yeah, we uh, stayed home, didn't do shit, and then got in a huge fight, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was totally our Valentine's Day. That's what we do. <laughs> right after I posted something that said, hey, we're not perfect, and we've had some knockdown dragouts, and it turned into one. Weird. And then you, yeah, you posted it and then started a big fight. I you. started it. Yeah, it was oh. all you. It was all you. <laughs> Does anybody believe that it was all me? It, yeah, they do. They do. Don't, I've tried to tell everyone. Don't I look innocent? That you're... You're you're tough to live with. I am tough to live with. A lot of people think you're awesome, but you're tougher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we believe in honesty, so that's why we revealed that. So how was everybody else's V Day? V D Day. V D V D Day? V D. V D. Yeah. Something like that. Valentine's Day is already come and gone. Yeah, thank God. Done. Get out of here. <laughs> now all we can think about is Trudeau. Oh, God. oh uh, is that guy a douche? Or oh, what? fuck that guy. I'm sorry. We don't get political on here, but that guy is a fucked up asshole. I'm sorry. He just looks like sorry. a douche. Sorry. <laughs> He's just a douche. Bleh. Uh. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine, like, agreeing to go on some kind of a date, like a Tinder? I don't know how the Tinder thing Tinder. works or the... <laughs> Dating sites. I highly doubt he goes Grindr. On I don't know. This is probably more like Grinder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and you're waiting at the nice Italian restaurant and that douchey face oh walks in. God. Er, er, er. He he looks like he's got the look on er, his face er. like he's constantly sucking on a lemon. He's just mm. Oh, he's just such a douche. Everything everything sucks around him. Ugh. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just bent because I've just seen nothing but his dumb face for maybe. the last five days. Maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What's Julia saying? She said, I usually just skip the holiday. I've been dressing for St. Patrick's Day for the last two weeks already. <laughs> of course you have. Yes, you have. I'm sure. That's awesome. That's funny. Got to post some pictures and we can spy on you. I bet you have a nice green outfit. Yeah. So St. Patrick's Day is like our next one. Right? Regarding the fighting, Christy Pressler says, it just depends on what the topic is. Both of you have your moments. <laughs> Thanks, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. Which is true. You're right. She's probably witnessed it a couple times. Yeah, maybe. I know some people watching right now have witnessed it. So, yeah. <laughs> it happens. It happens. And we, like I said in my post, it's kind of a way to, to, to have balance and to air things out. And the next morning you're more like, oh, that sucked. Okay. There's nothing better than a good fight on Valentine's Day. <laughs> nothing better? Yeah. Oh, God. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Everyone else tries to does the other stuff. It tries to does the other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure what you meant by that. Oh, B B B B B. Yeah. yeah. If you listen to Monday morning medication, you heard Dan rant about <laughs> go the Christmas cards. I know yeah, I, I don't know. say it enough. <laughs> I don't know. I don't say it enough, but I love you. I know I don't say it near enough. And then it goes on to say, but I re I like oh, really like, like you're I the love you. You're the best more than mountains. <laughs> I love you more than air. Like, really? <laughs> you love me that much. Yeah. But the card starts with, I know I should I say know, it more. I should say it more. Dur, 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 dur. Valentine's Day cards are pathetic. <laughs> they are. Just go read them. I'm telling you. They're probably all gone now. But yeah, probably. go through the card aisle during Valentine's Day and pick a random 10 out. And <laughs> all of them will start with, I know I should say this more. <laughs> what the fuck? Like our society's gotten. So can you imagine if that's what Valentine's Day cards look like back in the 1910s or 20s or 30s? None of them said that. None of them would say, I know I don't say it enough. They were probably just like, my dearest. <laughs> <laughs> It was probably just so great. No, it wasn't a card. It was a handwritten note. Oh, a handwritten. Like literally. By the firelight. <laughs> I write my love for thee. My dearest Anna. Now it's just like, I know I don't say it enough, but I love you. <laughs> you're, you're, you're. <laughs> I love how you clean the house and stuff. <laughs> You clean the house real good. You clean the house real good. I love coming home with a clean house. <laughs> Written by some guy in Detroit. Yeah. 
Brian Bettencourt says we should make a pay-per-view event and make that money. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think we should too. Yeah, he, he, he Hi, said Stephanie. you two are not the only ones. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Make it a pay-per-view and make some money. Stephanie Cagle's here. Hi, she goes, such a Hallmark holiday. What? It is. What's man. Christy saying? Uh, at least you didn't have to wait a long time at a restaurant while buying mediocre Valentine cookies and balloons with halfway dying flowers. <laughs> I love the day after where all the chocolate is discounted. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Right. And it's like, it's like, I was just so listening goofy. to, I was just listening to Bill Burr's, uh, right. Thursday morning, right before Friday, Monday morning podcast, just a few minutes ago. And he was talking about how, he doesn't do any kind of holiday on that day because he's like all the sales are the next three days. So yeah. just pretend Santa Claus hates your kids yeah. <laughs> and go buy all the sales stuff and go see daddy loves you. Yeah. Fuck Santa Claus. And he says that they do the Valentine's day the exact same way. They just kind of go on the, on the 13th or the 14th or something like that. So they don't have to fight the crowds and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. Speaking of Santa Claus, I just saw, uh, you know, there's, a lot of trending videos on TikTok right now is for like uh, Karen's, you know, Karen's, oh, yeah. Karen's gone wild <laughs> um, and shit like this. There, there's a pastor from a church, a pastor from a church oh, my. that went to the mall during Christmas time. And there is a line of kids and parents and the whole bit to see Santa that is there's at least a hundred people in line, probably like winding and through the ropes and waiting to get their picture taken right. with Santa. And he, he says before he gets there, like, uh, yeah, I'm going to let all these people know. Uh, and these children need to know that there is no <laughs> Santa Claus and that Christmas is all about Jesus. Oh my God. And he walks all the way down the line, yelling at the top of his voice, <sighs> kids, Santa Claus does not exist. Christmas is all about Jesus. I was like, if I could have fucking punched that dude in the mouth and knocked two of his stupid teeth out, you dummy. Unbelievable. You dummy. Unbelievable. Just shut up. You know, I was once... And his, his whole birth thing was real specific. Jesus was <laughs> born on this day 2,016 years ago. It's like, you don't know what the fuck you're even talking about. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I wish I could have bitch slapped that stupid punk ass. Oh, man. Oh, man. Anyway, Kareen, I am drinking red wine. Red, red wine? Red, red wine. Do, do, do. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, what's what's Jared saying? Same with Canadians. They have their own calendar. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like what? Oh my uh, yeah, gosh. she's saying that after the preacher was was breaking the news to everybody that there was no Santa Claus. Oh, and now donate to my offering. Probably. Like, what do you think? People are going to go to your church now? You yeah. should have saw the looks on these parents' faces. I know. They it's were disgusting. just like, you fucking son of a bitch. Yeah. Like, where do you think that this is going to, like, you know, increase your flock? Right. You stupid dummy. You know, when I was a little kid and I didn't know, I, 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 I've said it before on here. I wasn't raised with religion. So, um, I, I was more, it was more about Santa Claus. So when I would bring that up with some people, some people would get really butthurt about the God thing. And I, I think it was my kindergarten teacher that actually said to me, God doesn't compete with Santa. We're, they're a team. And I was just like, yeah, you know, and it was one of That's the best a good things. way to put yeah. it. Yeah, God, there's no competition for Christ. It was like, no, Santa's part of the team. And I was just like, that that, that was amazing. I, I just like now that. remembered that, like just now since you Joshua said that. Joshua Poole says he told his kindergarten class there was no Santa, but he didn't know better. <laughs> were you in kindergarten when you said that? Right, or were, or were you, you the teaching? kindergarten teacher? <laughs> because if you were the teacher, I, I don't know if we can be friends anymore. <laughs> Just kidding. No, he no, was probably, he said he didn't know better. Chrissy says people like that are the same people who eat ass and pay for Pornhub. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
my goodness. Exactly. Wow. Eat ass and pay for Pornhub. <laughs> oh, God. Tune in live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central. On the Unsung Screamers Facebook page, YouTube channel, and Twitter. And check out our Unsung Screamers podcast. Wherever you get your podcasts. Ah!